Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Star Trek Resurgence. This is Lower Decks. Stuck. Oh, he's broken his shuttle. Look at that. I got just the thing. Find a plasma torch? Well, I know, because I've watched enough Star Trek that that's a plasma torch. Yes, look at that. Now, that looks a bit nasty. So, let's burn all this off. So, you click on it. Keep the mouse in the centre. There you go, is that gone? Very light gameplay, to be fair. More about the story, to be fair, isn't it? And what would you expect from the same team responsible for the Telltale games? There you go, done. Cool. He's got a little smile on his face. Now we click the mouse again to grip it and then anti-clockwise to turn it to unlock it and the S key to pull it down. Nice and easy. And look at that. Covered in all sorts of muck. Got to be a plasma coil, something like that. Warp coil. And that. In goes another one. And then we'll press the D key and then we'll press the mouse and click it in. It's that. That's that, apparently. Got the cargo transporter. All working nicely. Peeping people coming up from the lower I deck. Was totally fried. It's a trill. Nice work, Carter. Nothing to it, Millie. And not a moment too soon. The boss wants us down in engineering. Like, now. Okay, so engineering it is then. Look at all this stuff around here. So make sure there's nowhere... Ooh, look at this. Talk to the crewman. Everything okay? I dropped a non-ferrous connector between the coils. You're gonna have to remove a few of them to find it, and then... Ooh, then another hour of recalibrating. Ouch. I'll leave you to it. Very nice. Moving on. See what's going on over here. Do we get talk to her? Her, him, Come her. On. Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Stop nagging. All these shuttles have been work on. What's going on here? Talk to the mechanic. Hey Diaz, have you seen a hyperspanner around here? I last saw it near the shuttle uh Tarmigan. I'll let you know. Carter Diaz. Okay. That's got to be it then, isn't it? No, that's the baffin. Go all the way over there and get Hydra Spanner. Like there's only one on the ship, is there? Hurry up! Ah, be there now. Don't worry. Inspect the shuttle. The in there was pretty extreme. Yes. Nothing I couldn't handle, though. No. Okay, so where is it then? So that shuttle is. That's the shuttle. Time's a wasting. The door's open. Yeah, you can't get in. Light. Oh, sorry. It was tools. That's me spanner. But for some reason, I really cannot get to it. Okay, not to worry. Let's resume. Get on with it. No, we're unable to do anything. Okie dokie then. Hey Diaz, have you seen a hyperspanner around here? I last saw it near the shuttle, uh, Tarmigan. I'll let you know. Yeah, it is. I've seen it. So let's go over there again then. That's definitely the spanner. Right? But let's just check. Nothing else around you, you know. Okay. Spanners. Nowhere else to go. Oi. Has he got my Hydra Spanner? No, because it's round there. Ah, there's something. There it is. It's a tool. That's not where that goes. It isn't. Maybe we can figure out where you're supposed to be. Who's being a messy monkey? Oh, hey, there it is. You're a lifesaver, Diaz. 
Well, I don't know about that, <laughs> but I try. You can hear him walking around, sniffing the farts. Anyway, you get to talk to him. He's looking all very like, you know, don't know. Don't know what he's doing. Anything else around here? Doesn't look like. Right, let's get cracking then. Should be getting all angsty. Ooh, what we got here? Probes. Okay, she don't pull a mischief. There you go. Oh, oh these are heavier than they look. Makes more sense than zero G. You're welcome. He looks stuffed, doesn't he? I get the other one. We're gonna leave that for him. Oh no, I'm gonna do the other one. Okay, probes. So clean, I can see myself. And you know what? Not half bad. Puff. Right, brilliant. So he can see himself in them. Lovely, lovely. We'll leave him to do that. <clears throat> Let's get on with it. She looks irritated. More irritated than normal. Look at all this crap in the middle of the, the hallway. Boy, detect talky talky stuff coming on. Here we go. To the turbo lift, Batman. Oh, we're in the turbo lift now. Engineering. I heard the new Exo just arrived. Won't be long before we get underway. I just hope whatever Chovok called us down for, it's something good. I can never tell with him. I'd rather not end up degaussing plasma manifolds. Hanging upside down makes me queasy. We can when handle it. We can tackle anything he throws at us. Your optimism is positively contagious. Okay, here's engineering. Woo! Looks like we got here before. Lieutenant Commander Chovak. We were just looking for you, Commander. Petty officers Ed Salar, Diaz. I was beginning to think you would be late. We are all hands on deck right now, which means if you are not at your post at the appointed time, I do not have someone to replace you. A point I have been forced to make to Petty Officer Ed Salar on repeated occasions. Commander Chovak, isn't it true that if we were almost late, it categorically means that we were not late? That is correct, Mr. Diaz. Have that. I mean, if anything, Ed Salar and I are following the schedule to the letter. Yes, perhaps I should adjust the schedule accordingly. So, I don't suppose you wanted us down here to check in before we go off duty? Equip yourselves in EV suits to work on the exterior of the hull. I need you to tune the structural integrity field for optimal performance. The subspace distortions and ionic interference we are experiencing are preventing the proper calibration. But this ship must be ready to depart shortly, despite the storm. It's all about The precise nature of these grids. disturbances are not fully understood. But many systems have been affected by the wide band of emissive activity. How concerned should we be about the storm? You worried? Vulcans do not worry. We calculate the variables and take appropriate precautions to mitigate the risk. Like a right true now, Vulcan. That entails making critical preparations. Because long range sensors show that these disturbances will be more severe at our destination, the Hotari system. You have your orders. We do. Do not delay. We won't. Yes, Roger Commander that. Chobok. All hands on deck. Oh, uh, what's that? All hands on deck. That's what Chobok said. You know what that means? It means this ship isn't ready to go out and the brass know it. So they're throwing every warm body at it. And they're going to leave on schedule. Consequences be damned. It all comes down to us, Nilly. We're the ones who will get it ready. I know what we can do. But this isn't just any old refit or any old relaunch. Oh, whoa. Huh. He's a liability. A lot of new faces coming on board. It's gotta be tough coming as a replacement. 
that's for sure. They may not be the same crew we started out with, but they're still Starfleet. They'll know what to do when the time comes. I prefer the scientific method. Evidence over assumptions. Hold on. Now there's an old face I didn't expect to see again. Hey, Miranda! You weren't gonna leave without me, were you? Miranda! You're here? We thought Obviously. you were staying on the Adirondack. Transfer came in at the last minute, so I figured I'd slum it on this bucket of bolts. Looks like you got her back together pretty nicely. I wasn't sure what to expect. Don't talk badly about one of the best ships in all of Starfleet. We've rebuilt enough of her by now. She better be one of the best. We'll see about that. But I am glad to be here. Oh, sexual she tension. Me a bottle of Saurian brandy. Don't think I forgot. Oh yeah, it's coming back to me now. Maybe Carter can rustle up that bottle and we can give you a proper welcome. As soon as we wrap up this quick little spacewalk. Come on, get your helmet on. Here, let me help you. Thanks. Yes. Put a heavy so thing on his back. Are you back in the security rotation? Yep. Still running with the usual suspects. Whoa. Good to go. Okay, so they're off scare. See you on the other side. Handy force field, I suppose. Activating magnetic souls. Yes. Okay, let's press our button then. So I thought the decals on the suit were actually depending on what you were. So they should be wearing yellow for engineering, should they not? Anyway, we're walking forward and we get to see outside on the hull of the ship. We've got a Miranda class just down there. Just like the Reliant from the Wrath of Khan. Pretty good to be honest. Look at that. Quite a bit of talky talky, and we expect this to be really talky talky heavy, so. Just kind of getting acquainted with the controls, some of the crew. Good stuff. Good stuff so far. But we're zooming in on a window. Something's going on. Here he is, all hands. Captain Solano should be here momentarily. So Star Trek resurgence turning out to be pretty cool so far. You'll have to forgive me. I don't know much about Kobleons, but my understanding is you need a steady supply of deridium to keep your cell structure stabilized, or bad things start to happen. And we have plenty of deridium in sick bay, so there's no risk of running out. Thank you. Feel free to make yourself at home. And help yourself to whatever you like from the replicator. Oh, I have some teal grey art. Yeah, do your it. And a nice captain's office. If you see my video on the tour around the Resolute, Star Trek's very good at matching things from the old and new. So we've got the old steam train, the books, the shells, dubious rocks like geodes, that sort of thing. And of course, lovely walnut wood paneling and desks intermixed with high tech computers, isolinear chips, or let's face it, USB sticks by any other name. Um, and again, you know, we've got over here Diplomas from Starfleet Academy. Zachary Solano. Don't even know where mine is. Here he comes. Last time I saw you, it was graduation from the Academy. You'd already secured one of the most prestigious assignments possible. And you were burning with enough ambition to fuel seven trips around the Necrot Expanse. 
It's good to see you again, Captain. I could not be happier to have you on the Resolute. My only regret is that we couldn't provide you with a warmer welcome. The arrival of a first officer to her new ship deserves a bit of fanfare. That would be totally unnecessary. I don't need any pomp and circumstance. You've been here all of five minutes, and already you're trying to make us more efficient. I like it. As I'm sure you've heard, we've had a rough go of it these last six months. The ship suffered some damage, but not nearly as much as the crew. You'll have to forgive me. I don't really know the details. Starfleet has been kind enough to keep the story contained. Probably because they want to protect me. But I don't mind telling you. We were on the verge of a major scientific breakthrough. A quantum leap forward in warp core technology. 10,000 teradynes per second. The ability to travel at a sustained rate of speed longer and faster than we ever dreamed. What would have been the crowning achievement of my career? Right there. Within our grasp. <sighs> Hubris, though. Went so horribly wrong. We pushed her too hard, and a warp core malfunction overloaded the system, creating a pressure gradient way beyond what the ship can handle. It was heartbreaking. We lost some of our best people. All down to him, then. As captain, I have to take full responsibility. And so you should. It was my decision to make, and I have to live with the consequences. We have to move on. You have to look to the future. You can't dwell on the past, on things you can't change. There's nothing that can be done about it now. In my defense, I will say, I might have avoided the whole ordeal if my senior staff had been willing to trust me. There was a lot of pushback from my former XO. I think that cost me his confidence. I don't want you to pull any punches. Certainly not on my account. But once we decide on a course of action, I need everyone to fully commit to the mission. Anything short of that just won't work. And that's when things start to go sideways. This is your ship and you are the captain. So as far as I'm concerned, whatever you say goes. That's the kind of support I'm looking for. Look, I'll be blunt. We can't afford another mistake. Well, he can't afford one. At least I can't. I feel like my career is hanging in the balance here. And so it should be. We need a win. Something to restore the crew's confidence. I understand. On a more positive note, Starfleet has tasked us with what they're calling a mission of the highest priority. Escorting a senior diplomat to Hotari space. Two previously peaceful and otherwise non-aggressive civilizations now find themselves on the brink of all-out war. So it's a peacekeeping mission? I see it as a golden opportunity to not only prove what the Resolute and her crew are truly capable of, but also a mission for which we're uniquely qualified. Really? Blowing the ship out? It's a psionic out. storm. Our long-range sensors suggest it's several orders of magnitude stronger than anything on record total anomaly like nothing we've seen before and you'll never guess where it leads Hatari exactly very nearly in the precise location where we're headed where I imagine the interference will be exponentially greater but the diplomat will brief us on the details of the rendezvous so basically we're being sent into the eye of a storm more powerful than anything on record well yes but we're taking every precaution. But I don't want to get ahead like the last time. I expect we'll have some rough sledding when we arrive, so I need you to prepare the crew for the worst. There's just one more thing I want to clarify up front. The metric that for me will be the ultimate measure of your success. Oh, I. What is it? Not blowing the ship apart. If after serving as my first officer, you don't one day find yourself with a ship of your own, then I will consider it my personal failure. When that might happen is entirely up to you. But it goes without saying. You have my full support. Thank you. But I feel like I still have so much to learn. You'll have plenty of opportunity. 
And if you're willing to put in the work, I'll do everything in my power to help you along the way. Uh-huh. Come. Let me introduce you to the crew. Well, he's happy. Kind of pissed off the engineering Vulcan. Right, to the bridge then, Batman. Oh, so he's at, his ops is over there then. Science to the left. Everyone, if I could have your attention for a moment. I'd like to introduce Commander Jara Rydek, our new first officer. Some quick introductions. This is Lieutenant Handar, our helmsman, one of the best in the business. One of? Well, what he lacks in humility, he more than makes up for in ability. A pleasure to meet you, Commander. Likewise. Next, Bajoran. Commander Westbrook, our chief science officer. I've come to rely on his expert counsel on a regular basis. Grumpy Let's sausage. Commander Rydek, it is such an honor to meet you. This is our tactical officer, Lieutenant Bedrosian, who's been looking forward to meeting you for about as long as I can remember. I've been following your career for quite some time, and I look forward to learning as much as I can from you. That's very kind of you to say. I'm happy to be here. Well, I have to admit, one of the reasons I've followed your career is because you're part Kobliad. Because of what you've overcome. Starfleet stands up for people who can't defend themselves. And you were one of those people once. But since then, you've done so much to protect others who need it. I really admire that. Oh, well, there you so, are then. You've been something of an inspiration to me. Not that I've done anything close to what you've done. But you definitely set a standard to strive for. I don't know what to say. That's incredibly flattering. Thank you. I hope someday I can follow in your footsteps. Oh, here we go. I'm sure you will. And then, of course, you've already met Commander Ermont. Please do everything you can to make Commander Rydek feel at home here. I'll be on the Starbase. Have an urgent meeting with the Starbase commander to get our authorization to get underway. They drag their feet any longer, we won't make our rendezvous. The bridge is yours. Woohoo! We've got the keys, man. Right. So it's all great stuff. Uh, we went through this in my first video in regards to this. But we've got a few things we can look at operations. operations. Staffing, supplies. There's a lot to keep track of on a starship. Good thing we have Commander Ermont. Yep, he's a grumpy old man, though. Who we got over here? Communications? Communications. Keeps us in contact internally and with other vessels. Yes, we kind of know all of this. But we'll go around anyway. This is tactical. Like, it's a bit dark. And they've got that a little bit wrong. I think she can barely see over the console. I mean, no offense. She needs a box, doesn't she? Tactical station. Hopefully, a diplomatic mission won't require we use our weapons much. But if it comes to that, we'll be ready. Okay, we got our master systems display. So many decks. Full of crew that are now my responsibility. Well, now you put it like that, it's a bit daunting, isn't it? So it should be engineering station here, but we haven't got anything to say about that, really, by the look of it. Okay, so what we got over here? That's, that's um, science dude. Science station. The Resolute is a science vessel, primarily. Might explain Commander Westbrook's attitude. I'll have to speak with him later. Yes. Well, okay, we got a tacti tactical Holloway. What's that about? Let's have a look at this. Detected at the front door. Tactical hollow dais. Just like they've got on the Excelsior. Okay. The helm? The helm. The Resolute is a refitted Centaur class, meaning it's capable of quick maneuvers. Can't wait to see what she can do. Yeah, it's a refitted Centaur. Okay. And then we don't get to go to this one. Um, but there's the window. Let's look out of it. 
Impressive range of view. So, good stuff. I think we've been round everything. Is there a... Usually there's a ship's plaque, isn't there? They haven't got one here. On the bridge. That's an omission by the developers, obviously. Um, but anyway, in the captain's chair. Commander, Chief Engineer Chovak needs to lower the structural integrity field. He sent a crew out to recalibrate the emitters in response to the danger posed by the storm. We just need your go-ahead. Permission granted. Lowering structural integrity field, now. Entering maintenance mode. There you go. Cool. 